I can't do real magic. I'm just a weirdo who spent an unhealthy amount of time thinking about a deck of cards. But that's good news, because I've written down my favorite ways to pretend I can do impossible things, so that now you can learn them. The first half of this book has all of my go-to effects. When someone asks me to do a trick, I perform one of these. They challenge the accepted structure of magic tricks, they are off the beat, the methods are devious, and I have performed them thousands of times. But the second half of this book, yeah, this has been in the works for 25 years, since the very first note I made in the very first magic notebook I ever had with ideas for how to create signed duplicate cards. Have you ever wanted to do an anniversary waltz where you can show the faces of both cards at the same time? Have you ever wanted to do a color change of a signed card? This is the book for you. These tricks are designed for performance, tricks that I perform every day for real audiences. After all, without a real audience, I've just practiced for days, weeks, months, and years to suck at shuffling a deck of cards. Seriously. Because that is the ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king of hearts. Those are all the clubs, those are all the diamonds, and those are all the spades. And after hundreds and thousands of performances like that, I have thought about every detail of these effects and presentations. Just like here, where I've made sure that this green deck of cards matches my green shirt. I actually, I thought about performing in this red shirt that I have on, but I figured if I did that, I would need to use a red deck of cards. And so I, I have used a red deck of cards. These are the tricks, techniques, and presentations that form my perspective on magic. The pages are blank. They're not, though. There's writing on them. I mean, technically, there's some blank space on every page, so it's not a lie. Never mind. <laughs>